Come on, I'm out of the nut game. Got nothing to sell. Saraka, I'm back in the game. Such as it is. I don't have much besides gratitude, but find a bunch more of these and I'll toss you whatever I found. Come at a difficult time. I'm almost surprised. As you wish. The Legion of the Dead Warriors secretly wear. Take it. Warden, I'm outraged. A thief in the Shapred. What have we been reduced to? I did. He was bald, with the most garish brand across his head. Almost like he took pride in being castless. Imagine. Ah, he's probably in the slum somewhere. As if he'd find a buyer for a stolen tome in Dust Town. They couldn't know the value. Oh, pardon me. Were you looking for a particular volume? Not that I could really help. I, um, don't know the libraries very well. I'm just doing some research. I was looking for something about the Orton Taig. It was lost during the Last Blight, and there aren't many records left. They were a noble house once, descended from the Paragon Orton, who composed the grand epic of the Seven Brothers and the Ortonic Symphony. My mother's family believes they were descended from Kalana Ortan, who was training in Orzammar when the Taig fell. I'm even named for the house, Orta. Unfortunately, any records would be buried in the Taig's ruins, somewhere in the deep roads. You're from the surface. What do you know about fighting Darkspawn? There aren't even any expeditions planned until they settle this election. Otherwise, you need special permission from the Assembly, or some great lord. A Grey Warden? Mother always said that if anyone could find the Taig, it was the Wardens. I hear Prince Balin and Lord Harrimont have both been sending out small teams these days. Yes, if you can find the Taig in any records, that could do it. That could prove I'm a noble. If you could. Maybe now that you're looking. It's almost too much to hope. Let's get started. Right. Let's get started. When I last walked this hall, Endrin was king and Orzammar was at peace. The memories often speak of the swiftness with which change overtakes us. But it is different to see it firsthand. I apologize, Warden. I should not burden a stranger with such thoughts. I am Zebor, the shaper of memories. The Grey Warden's visit has been recorded in the memories, along with all who accompany you. Ask, and I shall do my best to answer. All dwarves who die return to the stone as ancestors, to guide their families forever. 
but only one every few generations rises to Paragon. A Paragon is a dwarf whose accomplishments change Orzammar so much that the Assembly recognizes they've been born blessed. They are venerated as living ancestors and found a new noble house forever bearing their name. Branca is a Paragon, now and into death. She was born a smith, but her inventions caught the Assembly's eye. Before she had seen twenty years, she created a smokeless coal. It could burn in a cave without vents and no one would choke from it. It earned her Paragon status. She went into the deep roads two years ago seeking out secrets of the ancient smiths. She never returned. According to our legends, seven brothers founded our empire. The youngest, Bloodlik, was the wisest and was chosen king. His children formed the noble caste. The eldest, Gyatshet, trained his sons to defend their king. They became the warrior caste. Shatgyar founded the artisans. Orzatyar forged our first swords. It was Orzammar who dug the mines that became our city's foundations. The twins Koapar and Nacht both founded trading houses, but Nacht was wounded in battle. On his recovery, he swore to serve his brother's sons. Your presence here has been recorded in the memories. I wish I knew what significance it has. Warden, welcome. It is always a blessing for Orzammar to host your order. I am Vartag Gavorn, top advisor to our good Prince Balin. What news do you bring? Ah, ancient documents indeed. These were signed in the reign of Eithnar Bimo, Paragon and King. That was 16 generations ago. Now, the difficulty is that the treaty only compels our king, and we are sadly lacking one of those right now. My prince is the rightful king, but a disappointing number of lords back the upstart Haramon to the throne. If you show your support for Prince Balin, he might be able to assist with your requests. Aramont promised the same portion of his estate to two different Deshers, Lady Dace and Lord Helmy. Aramont can't possibly grant it to both of them, but they won't find out until after the vote is cast. I have copies of the promissory notes Aramont gave each of them. Once they see those, they should both reconsider their votes. Lady Dace doesn't leave the quarter much, but Lord Helmy's adventurous, likes to spend his time at Tapsters in the Commons. Remember, don't tell them you got these papers from me. You learned of them and drew your own conclusions. The assembly is in session. Enter quietly if you wish to observe. I heard there was a Grey Warden here. I am Doolin for render. Second to Lord Harrowmont, King Endrin's own choice as successor. Word is spreading that the surface may suffer a blight. It is shameful we are not in a better position to help. That may be, and that is a terrible risk for the surface. But even if the world would end tomorrow, Lord Harrowmont cannot ignore Balin today. He cannot afford to trust anyone of unproven loyalties. If you wish to show you have no loyalty to Balin, then work against him in Harrowmont's name. Balin is hosting a proving today, supposedly to honor his father's memory. The Deshers take it very seriously, and unfortunately, Balin found some way to blackmail or intimidate House Harrowmont's best fighters into stepping down.
it would certainly make your loyalties loud and clear. Balin would never work with anyone who humiliated him in that way. Paramount would have no fear of meeting with you then. Excellent. The arena is located off the commons. Talk to the Proving Master and tell him you're entering Lord Haramont's roster. The key fighters we lost were Guidon and Faisal. You can look for them in the fighters' preparation chambers behind the ring. And be sure it's before the fights begin. After the first bout, no one may change the roster. If you need to find me again, I will wait in the Tapster's Tavern off the commons. There is no better place to hear gossip. Perhaps even word of your victory. News of the hour, does Lord Haramon think that What do you want? Ah, oh, I suppose you're the Grey Warden everyone's talking about. Well, this isn't exactly a surface broadsheet. Where did you get these? Never mind. It is true enough. There's nothing I can do about it. This deal was made on behalf of our entire house. Only my father can revoke it. He is leading a Deep Roads expedition, trying to secure an ancient tie. It's unlikely he'll be back before the election, but perhaps this vote is important enough for you to brave the tunnels to tell him? The Dace family would be in your debt. Thank you. He was searching an old Iduken site. He left me with this map, in case his expedition never returned. I'll give you a pass as well. Usually, no one is allowed past the front lines. Good luck. News of the hour! Is Lord Balin considering a dissolution of the ancient clan? Two years tomorrow. By all the holy sodding ancestors, how can you people just ignore that? Bronca didn't go alone, Ogren. She took the whole house, everybody but you. So just get over to Tapsters and drown yourself already. You know as well as I do, that's how this always ends. You think I'm afraid of some cub warrior who's barely off the teach? Ha! <laughs> I'll... You lift a weapon or attack a single citizen in Orzammar, and you're stripped of your caste and exiled. Even you can't have forgotten that. Get out of here before I call a guardsman. have right now. I could get more if I sell something. Well, well. Looks like we have a visitor. Friend of yours? Is there a problem here, friend? Are these men threatening you? Please! Don't get involved with this. You don't know what they're like. Then allow me to make some introductions. The 
These are dangerous times in Orzammar, stranger. Lucky us, the merciful Jarvia is offering protection from the chaos. You're wearing some fancy stuff there. Might make you a target. So if you want the Carter's guarantee of safety, it's yours for the reasonable price of ten gold sovereigns. Or I can't say what might happen. Whoa, whoa! All right, you win. I'm not gonna die for ten lousy sovereigns. Ancestors, bless you for saving my poor store. I don't know how to express my gratitude. I... I've never met her, of course. They say she never leaves Dust Town. That's, uh, the older area of the city where the castless congregate. She's the one directing this depravity. Since good King Endrin died, they're getting bolder. They used to be a problem only in Dust Town, but now they're in the commons, shaking honest men down for coin. I'm showing you the lowest prices I can afford, I assure you. Watch for Pio Naidukin. He's won the squad combat four years running. He has 11 decapitations so far. He needs just three more for the one season record. Front row seat to every grand proving since my father took me on his shoulders. Name's Varric. I got a controlling interest in a mine off the old Roosten Tig. But my backers know not to hand me a pick any day there's blood on the stone, if you know what I mean. They change from round to round. Sometimes it's bare hands, sometimes weapons, sometimes pairs or squads. It's announced when the fight begins. That's about all the warning anyone gets. I'm telling you, Piotin will take the prize. You can put gold on it. Should be easy enough. Guards, remove this intruder. Not disturb me. I must meditate before my fight. You new in the fights? I don't remember seeing you before. It's a pleasure. Sorry it can't be longer. Name's Guidon, and I just tendered my resignation. Somehow I don't think the ancestors will favor me today. It's not so much what happened. As what's going to. I heard from a reliable source Lord Harriman's already given up the throne. Balin called this whole proving to let his lordship save face when he concedes. Exactly. I'd back Harriman as he asked, but if he's giving up, I won't sacrifice my family so he can retire with dignity.
Oh? And where did you hear this that's more reliable than a member of the Assembly? Well, that's not what I expected. I know Lord Haramont. He's an upstanding man. He'd never lie to someone's face. Maybe you're right. I I'm just a warrior. I've always tried to stay out of these noble politics. If I find out this whole thing was some flunky of Balin's lying to me for his own gain, I'll... I'll... No, you're right. I owe Lord Haramont more than that. Fine to see you here, Warden. A number of people have told me they hope to see you in the Provings. It's a rare opportunity to fight against someone so exotically trained. In fact, a few were hoping you'd take part in some informal action. Say the word and I'll line up a team from one of the younger houses. They don't often get a chance to test themselves in the Provings. They're a hungry bunch who employ unusual tactics. Understand that there's no concern for fairness here. Your battles will be hard won. I'll be here. Look, I already told the Proving Master I withdrew. Do you have to keep harassing me? Nor I you, but it's pretty obvious who you're working for. So I take it you weren't sent here to find out if I withdrew from the Proving. In that case, never mind. Oh, don't put it that way. Look, it's just, when I was younger, I had a thing with this Idukin girl, Revelka. Lesser cousin, nowhere near the throne. Her family wanted her marrying up, so they matched her with a BMO. But we didn't exactly stop seeing each other. She's married to a prominent Desher's heir. We should have stopped a long time ago, but... I love her. Do you know what that's like? Now Balin found out, and I can't even help my cousin for fear he'll tell her husband. You're probably right. I'll go home now. Ha! You're back! Did you wish to fight in the Proving today? Well, that's a surprise. Never thought the Grey Wardens would take an interest in our king. Let me just put you into the schedule here. Now, is there a particular name you wish listed? We'll just call you Grey Warden, seeing as those human names are a real burr to pronounce. We actually have an opening in the first round. Are you ready to start? That's what I like to hear. I will warn you, though. This is your last chance to make preparations or meet the competition. Once the fights begin, there are no new additions to the roster. All withdrawals are treated as losses and a sign of the ancestors' disfavor. Do you want to start, or would you like some time? The fighters' quarters are behind the ring. Go down to the ring, then. I'll be right there. This is a glory proving! Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Entrin. First up is Suwern of the Warrior Cast. Many of you remember when Suwern made history as a lad of twelve by defeating his own father in this very ring. Today, he fights as a champion for Prince Balor. Opposing him in Lord Haramont's name is a member of the famed Grey Wardens. In the name of House Idukan, 
and our future King Balin. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! The winner is the Grey Warden! That was an exciting start, Warden. Sawern is rarely trounced, and so thoroughly. Are you ready for your next opponent? Excellent! Let us go! This is a glory proving! Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Entrin. This round, Paramount's champion takes on the notorious duo. The warrior cast twin terrors now fighting for Prince Balan, Viaja, and Lucha. Fall is vanquished. Fight! in his name. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! The winner is the Grey Warden! Paramount will be pleased, Warden. The Silent Sister's support was a great boost for Balin. Are you ready for your next opponent? Excellent! Let us go! This is a glory proving! Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Entrin. This round is air combat! Just as Kiachet fought as King Bloodwick II defending our empire, so have dwarves always fought alongside a second. Master of all weapons, prisoner of none, Bojack Ivo has never won the same way twice. What will he do today, lords and ladies? And will it win the day for Prince Balin? Grey Warden, choose your second, for you face Bojack Ivo and Valans. Last one standing will be declared victor! Fight! Bojack Ivo is one of the best this arena has seen, Warden. Paramount picked wisely. Are you ready for your next opponent? Excellent! Let us go! This is a glory proving! Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Entrin. Only two warriors remain! Fighting for his royal cousin Balan, the Odin Iduken! 
has led his team to triumph over every unit so far. Challenging him on behalf of Lord Heramon, the Grey Warden has risen from nothing to stand at the competition summit. Each will lead a full unit of four soldiers to see once and for all whom the ancestors favor. You fight well, but your judgment is questionable. The throne will never leave House Iduku. Last one standing will be declared victor! Fight! <laughs> And himself once called the horns of my army. Do you deny this Grey Warden has earned the championship? Then it is my honor to declare this Grey Warden champion of the Proving, who has shown that the ancestors favor Lord Heramont. Spoken like a true warrior!